this is Cumberland Blues by Charles Bradley. Um, there's so much to talk about with this track. There's like probably at, at least three big pillars that I'd like to kind of, um, uh, you know, touch on here. So uh, vocab wise in the, um, let's call it the chorus when we go to the ride symbol at the top of the top of the track. Boom, boom, ka, haroom, boom, ka, haroom, boom. So this drag idea. helpful to kind of create that a uh, little bit more of a mature texture than just it's the same stroke that you play I mean same stroke it's just it's on the same beat one and two and uh the of uh, two and the of uh, four but instead of a single stroke you're allowing the stick to bounce twice so for sound quality purposes, I'm actually holding on the back three fingers and actually playing, I'm bringing this, the fingers to the stick in combination with the rebound that the drum is giving me, I'm able to get those two beefy low strokes. Um, if I was playing this faster, I might just like lay the stick into the drum and squeeze with my fulcrum to get those sounds instead of trying to crush them um, too much with my with my back three fingers. But at the tempo that we're at, try and play both of those strokes with the fingers on the stick. Kind of those that type of idea. Okay, so that's one thing I wanted to touch on. Um, next up. Um, during the verse, all of these, all of these fill ideas, boom, boom, cat, boom, 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 cat, boom, 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 cat, boom, fill, fill. I mean, it's really just a, a great kind of laboratory, I, you know, setting to shed some of those, uh, those two beat fills, three, four, back to groove. Um, so any of your combinations of eighths and sixteenths. Uh, across the drums, including unison hands and foot. Um, I mean, this is just, uh, I mean, what a, what a great track this is uh, as, for, as for examples of fills to play and, and sounds as well. Um, open hats are there, um, you know, ascending, uh, descending, ascending drums. You know, there's, there's lots of really quality um, stuff going on. It's a wonderful track. Um, so, I'll play a little bit more at the end, but also I wanted to uh, make clear when the pre-chorus is um, when pre-chorus shows up when he goes to the uh, loose hats um, and the snare is on quarter notes. That's actually a six-bar phrase. So um, instead of a, a clean eight bars, four bars type of idea with most you know pop music, um, there's a little bit of a twist there. So. Don't uh, make sure that you have your antenna up <laughs> during that part of the tune because that's that's really helpful to know like just with the the flow from section to section just to when to anticipate that and get, just get to know what a six bar phrase feels like. So here is let's say a few rounds of a verse idea into the pre-chorus and then into the chorus. Okay, just kind of isolating these three different chunks.
give that track a listen to. Lots of good stuff, man. Really good stuff.